Man, all Teflon Don ain't just hunting for rabbits. I mean, he going after everybody in these rap battles. <laughs> and I can't wait to get into it, y'all. But first, intro. Yo, what is good, fam? Bam, it is your boy, Jason JV, saying welcome to another reaction video. And yes, yes, y'all. So... My man, I swear, my man DJ, man, he been like a whole new man, you know what I'm saying, ever since that, that, that mug shot. Although, to be fair, that uh, Eminem disc freestyle that we had to look at came out, I think, sometime before um, this mug shot. Now my man is, is battling Joe Biden, which, I don't know, man. I have a feeling this is going to play out like, like like that 2020 debate, you know what I'm saying, between uh, Trump and Biden. We all know how that worked out. Yeah, right. This one came out. Seven days ago. So this was a little bit before... Uh, actually, I believe this was the day before Trump had that mugshot taken because we're on the 30th now, correct? Uh, yeah, it is the 30th as of the time of this recording. Seven days prior, that would be the 23rd. So yeah, that the mugshot was taken on the 24th. So that's just like the day before. Man. <clears throat> All right, y'all. So let's go ahead... And get right into this. This is Donald Trump versus Joe Biden rap battle. Not to be confused with her big rap battles of history. Um, even though, you know, I need to hit up more of those. You know what I'm saying? I need to go check ERB to see if there's any more of those rap battles. Because I miss reacting to those. But anyway. Uh, Donald Trump versus Joe Biden rap battle. Without further ado. I'd like to hit hit. It's your boy Barry. A.K.A. Big O. And I'm the host and the judge of today's rap battle between Trump the Don and my good friend Biden. Now, if anyone deserves that, their their mug take. I mean, this is definitely one of those heads. I'm just saying. Hey Biden, I know it's on that laptop hiding. You can fool your voters, but half the country they know you're lying. I'll never go. Facts, facts. We know the uh, Biden family. They they hiding something. They covering up something. Right, let's go. You know you're lying. I'll never go to jail. The DA keep on trying. All the billions you supply into Ukraine, people dying. You got. Yeah, and uh, even if they do get him in jail, I mean, they're not gonna hold him for very long. I mean, only long enough just to get a mug shot, and that's it. Right. Blood on your hands, what your puppet masters do? They come in. More facts. Blood on his hands and his puppet masters. Right. Masters do. They come in after me. They should be coming after you. But we. More facts. You know the whole swamp is evil, and that's the truth. You no doubt about it. Go and ask Julian Assange for the proof. You said black people who don't vote for you are not black. You he did say that, and I, and and this is when I had to call out, you know, said community and be like, yo, how you gonna let this old white man tell y'all who you are? You know what I mean, based on who you vote for, and how you gonna let, you know. Charlemagne, the uh, fraud here, you know what I'm saying? Just sit there and, and, and take that for y'all. I mean, come on now. Come on now. You are not black. You locked up tons in the 80s for some crack. A crisis at your border, and of course you turned your back. What happened to forgiven college loans? Come on, Jack. You said you don't support. Exactly. All these promises Joe Biden made, and he didn't keep any of them. Yeah, he's a dick. He probably don't even remember all, all those promises that, that, that he made. Don't support gays a decade ago. Career politicians will say anything for your vote. At press conference. True. True. And that is something that I think uh, some people are starting to wake up and realize. Politicians are. And I've said this too in past videos. Politicians be like used car salesmen. They will tell you anything and everything they think you want to hear. So you will vote for them. So you will buy everything that they're trying to sell you on. And then it takes for them to be in the position that you you allow them to be in in order for you to see for yourself, you know, they are not what what they present themselves to be. They make all these, you know, empty promises. And people wonder why. Why is everything so expensive? Gas is so expensive. My mom just told me the other day she spent $80. Just to fill up her gas tank. And she drives a little BMW. 
And then she flipped the script. And I think my mom like likes to troll me sometimes because she flipped the script and tried to act like, oh, it ain't it ain't expensive living out here in California. The hell it ain't. Go tell that to people who live out in the South. Bruh. I'm sure they'll get a real kick out of that, ma. I'm just saying. Your vote at press conferences, you're reading what somebody else wrote. You're controlled by BlackRock and Vanguard like Trudeau. Your wife is not a doctor, but she says she is. Why, Joe? Hey, Joe, who wrote the 94 crime bill? Here's to. Did I not say it? Did I not say it? Who wrote the 1994 crime bill during the Clinton administration? This man got. So many minorities locked up during the Clinton administration, during the Bush administration, during the Obama administration, because of that, that freaking crime bill, it locked up more minorities than the past, what? Uh, well, I can't say past three administrations. because Well, past three administrations prior to Trump's administration combined for nonviolent crimes. And it took Donald Trump's administration, when he first got elected, right, during his first run, to implement what it, what, it, what it is known as the First Step Act, which is to counteract that crime bill that Joe Biden admitted, admits that he wrote. He's admitted it several times in various interviews. Whenever it would come up in conversation, he would tell you, <laughs> I wrote it. No shit, Joe. So Trump implemented the First Step Act and got all those minorities who wasted many years of their lives that they're not getting back. Trump finally freed them and gave them a new lease on life. Bruh. Let's go. For crime bill, here's to the most famous president. Three cheers, your daughter said you showered with her well into her teen years. You said Obama was the first well-groomed black man. You eulogized Robert Byrd. Please give up the act, man. Mess Y'all did Obama like that? So basically Obama is a program puppet too then, basically. Is what is according to Biden, yep, they had they had to reprogram Obama's brain and make him one of them. Which I don't doubt. As Robert Byrd, please give up the act, man. Messing with me, you messed up big time. Oh, I can't forget 10% to the big guy. Good luck, Joe. Good luck beating that. Creepy Joe, sleepy Joe. Can't wait to see what you got. All right, so it looks like Biden is going to come back. Let's see what he got. Uh, and he trolled. My, my, my legs and the kids, they would, they would rub the hair. And Corn Pop was a bad dude. This, this is my wife and this is, this is my sister. Hey, how, how did I get here? What, what's going on? Ronald, Ronald Crump. Who am I battling? If you're not, if you don't, if you're not. <laughs> Bro, they, they, they done nailed Joe Biden <laughs> with his absent-mindedness. That, that I guess we'll call it. <laughs> Black and you don't vote for me. If you're, if you're. See, there it is, man. You, you, if, wait, what do you say? If you're not black, you don't, you don't vote for me? Well, if you're not black and you don't vote for me. If you're not black and you don't vote for me, wow. If, you're, if, you're, if you don't vote for me, you're not black. Oh, if you don't vote for me, you're not black. Yeah, see, and there it is. Boom. That was the moment he said it. That's that, you know, Breakfast Club interview with Charlamagne the God. Joe Biden. Bruh. Hey. Pop was a bad dude. Why'd you sit? Fight. Come on, this man. This is, this is my sister. <laughs> Come on, man. Hey, how, how did I get here? Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Well, uh, Joe, that was pretty special. <laughs> Let us know in the comments down below who you think uh, won the rap battle and who you'd like to see next. Well, if you're not black, then you don't vote for me. If you don't, if you don't, you don't vote for me, you're not black. Wow. All right, y'all, so that was Donald Trump versus Joe Biden in a rap battle. Let me see. Is that all there is to it? Yeah, that looks like that's it. All right. Definitely going to mash the like on this one because this one was funny as hell. And uh, I don't know about y'all, but I think 
Trump done slayed Joe Biden in this one, just like he slayed um, old B. Rabbit himself, Eminem, in that last uh, diss that, that he put out. You blew it. Old Teflon Don in the building, y'all. Mr. 45 himself, Thug Life, or as he likes to call himself, you know, Big T, the top G. Oh, man. All right, y'all. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below. And are you guys being entertained with these rap battles from Donald Trump? Uh, man, please let me know in the comment section down below. Look forward to hearing what you guys have to say. And, uh, yeah. And don't forget to do all the YouTube things to support your boy. And uh, this came to us cur courtesy of uh, High Res TV's channel. If you're not rocking with High Res TV, make sure y'all go show him some love as well. I'm sure he'll greatly appreciate it. Let him know that your boy, Jason JV, done sent you. I'm sure he'll appreciate that as would I. All right, y'all. Till the next one. Y'all have a blessed one. Peace. Jason JV on YouTube. Uh, what's up with you, Jason JV? What up, Jason JV? I'm just sending love, peace, and blessings to you. Jason, you are my homeboy, my guy. Don't call me guy, pal. Don't call me buddy, pal. Much love to you, JV. Chris Calico. Cali, baby. Oh. What's up, JV? I didn't see that last one after the next video. I'm going to say what's up, JV. Keep your motherfucking head up. Uh, uh, I don't know why you're sad. If you're sad, if you're sad, if you're sad, if you're happy. Uh, don't be too happy. Don't be expecting shit. It's like doing curves all the time. So be ready to be on the swerve. So subscribe, tap the little bell, turn on the notifications, and if you're not down with that, we got three words for you. Eat it. Yeah.